Hey guys, um, from this time right now, it's 7.09 p.m. So for those of you watching, good evening. For those of you not watching at night, good morning. For those of you not watching in the morning, good afternoon. Um, now today I just, I just recently watched a YouTube video that I just saw from from one week ago and uh, well this is one of them actually a new station called WXII12 News has reported on has reported about a guy who says strong storms destructed his video games and this guy's name is Anton Williams if you can uh Read the, uh, then you know what there. So, uh, I'm gonna take you to this video now, and, uh, I'll have my response on it. And, uh, why. I'm gonna have my response on it. A kid who's playing a video game and only thinks about his video game otherwise. Go now to Mallory Lane. She's also in Greensboro on Phillips Avenue. Mallory. We have moved down just a little bit on Phillips Avenue. We're now by Valley View Street. The damage, I think we're just kind of learning the extent of it. It's massive. Let me step out of the shot. You can see this van overturned here. The house right next to it, this white house, was lifted off of its foundation and moved. The house next door, you can see some siding that has come off and a power line that's down right in front of it. Now, I have uh, Anton Williams here. He lives in that house with the power lines down on it, and he was home when this happened. And, Anton, you keep saying, I, I can't believe this is happening in Greensboro, right? Right. So tell us what you were doing and, and what you saw. Um, I was sitting at home, and I was playing Fortnite, and all of a sudden I just hear a bunch of noise, and I look out the window, and I start seeing the roof come off the houses in front of me. But then I sit back down because I only got like a couple people left in my gang. I was going to try to finish the game. But then it just started getting worse. And then I started starting the power lines come down. So I heard my, told my sister and my nephew to come to the bathroom so everything would be okay. What, what did you hear? I mean, was it loud noise? What, a lot of people say it sounds like a train. But did you hear anything or hear anything hitting against your home? No, I really didn't hear anything, but I really did hear it when the roof started coming off the, like, the side of the house, and then when the truck flipped, then I heard that. And, and what's going through your mind is you're, you're, you said you're in the bathroom with your sister and nephew. I'm like, <laughs> I was, honestly, I was just thinking about the game. So, before I go further down, yeah, he was thinking about the game. But otherwise, he he did keep his siblings safe. I mean, I I'll give him points there. But um, see, if you're like playing a video game such as Fortnite, PUBG and so many others and let's say if a tree for example and god willing won't happen to you at all but it might happens to finally break 
from your backyard and falls down, nearly breaking the entire house, but only your bedroom, and you're stuck inside, or almost stuck inside, and you're still playing a game, not having a care in the world, until you finally snapped and changed your mind, and then get What will you do if you ever try to play a video game and ignore the sound just so that you can finish? That's right, nothing. Here's what I would, would have done if I were to play a video game like Train Driver 2018. Number one, I would gather all my belongings if a tree decides to fall down on my house. Two, I would run. I would run out before damage, the damage of my house gets worse than it already is. And uh, finally, I would make sure I have everything, including the game I currently play. But what I will not what I will not do is just sit there and try to finish the game and then a few minutes later go right out very late, knowing that I might have a few seconds to be in that house. There is no way. There is no way. That I would be in this mess. If that ever happens. If, it, if that ever happens. Uh, if I were you. I just leave immediately. I wouldn't ignore whatever sound that it was. I would just quickly. Pause the game. Look out the window. Get for my belongings and get out. Or if the house already hits a tree, I would just stop the game, turn it off before everything gets worse because it's all in the house, it's all electrical. I would gather some of my things. I would quickly, quickly inform my family members. I would tell them to leave if I had a bigger house. I would tell them to leave. And so I would run out the door, call 911, and inform them that a tree fell down at my house. Which is one of the reason why you probably should focus on you should focus on like not trying to obsessively play Fortnite so much. And try to play different vi varieties of video games that, that need more views on YouTube as well. If you had a certain YouTube, if you have a uh, YouTube channel, 
that has a variety of video games just like this one. This one has a variety of any type of video game. And, and by say any type of video game, I mean video games I already did in the past. And possibly and probably will be doing it again in the near future. But right now I'm playing two video games. The Sims Mobile and the game you're going to be currently watching in a few minutes after this video ends. So I'm going to continue my conversation from there after I hear the rest of this. So watch. But I was hoping everybody was okay around me. But when I came outside to check on my neighbors, they said everything was fine. And tell us, you said that you talked to the people who were in the, in the home that was lifted up off the foundation. What did they tell you? They said they just told their family to go inside the restroom, but they felt the house being lifted up off the ground. And, and you said that they felt kind of being thrown? Yeah, they felt the pressure of the wind coming through the windows. Okay. And as you're walking outside and you're seeing this damage, what do you think? I was like, I'm thinking like, I didn't even know something like this would happen in Greensboro. You can't picture this happening. We're glad you're okay. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. We really appreciate it. So again, um, we and I stopped this video right there to bring you the comments. Okay. Some of those comments said that, that they're uh, glad he's okay. He could have been lost in the storm literally. Uh, comment, another comment says that I could have, I could die from the storm, but I might never have another chance to win a match of Fortnite again. Which is why... I would dislike this comment because it's it's bringing yes the word uh, Fortnite in it and Fortnite I don't approve as much. And this comment says, "What a bad reporter! She's not asking about she's not asking a real question like if he won a match or not." Which, I could probably know what the answer really is, actually. Because this kid, uh... Anton, I should say, because it's, it's, right, it's right there. Anton Williams. He, uh... He's telling, he's definitely one in a, almost a million kids who uh, are addicted to uh, playing Fortnite. And this is one of the reasons why I hate Fortnite so much. Because you get distracted from other things happening around you. Especially if you only play that one game instead of any other game for like I don't know how long but sometimes people you should not always play the same video game I mean Jesus Christ I I used to play the same video game when I were you called Need for Speed Underground 2 I had to immediately quit the game because, you know, I, I come to my senses that I was never going to reach a, c 
current city level of the game. And you know what? I, uh... I, uh, basically have no regrets on, uh, ditching Need for Speed Underground 2, because I knew sooner or later I was never gonna make it, and, you know, I had to quit in 2015. I mean, I've been using that PS2 system for so many years, I just had to give that up, because... Apparently, the Xbox One was in back then, so, and I'm still trying to get the Xbox One soon, so, maybe, maybe not, there might be more of me playing, of me playing, uh, Need for Speed Payback in the future, but for the time being, you're just gonna have to Watch me playing it from the apps right there. And another comment says, that's not a man, that's a boy. Just because he's taller than the poor doesn't mean he's not a kid. Come on, use me. I mean, I kind of agree with this comment there. I kind of agree that he he's a teenage boy. I mean, probably he's probably like 15 or 16 years old playing Fortnite. I mean, yeah, I agree. Come on, the XII twelve news. Come on. Know your your descriptive phase. And comment says a true inspiration. A true inspiration of what? Just because he played Fortnite, or is it? Or is it because he saved his siblings? Which would be the most important thing to do if your friends were also in the same room with you or in the same house with you and you rescue them out of the house. Give this man some V-Bucks. Yeah, V box are not really going to help this guy because I don't think that is portraying as actual cash. I would give him actual cash, not V box, whatever they are. Should have thrown a port of port. Yeah, that not clearly does not explain that much. Bros is savage. My Nibba trying to get that win. Oh, wait. Yeah, 
it's a disc one. I'll if I did this kid not lose internet connection. Who knows? It's a secret. A true legend. You need to explain more. A true legend of what? Playing Fortnite or saving siblings? Like I said in the last comment before. That's the gamer spirit. Oh, really? Because he only had... He was just thinking about the game and ha he had to finish the game. I only may owe that boy Anton a fool. I agree. No hate on Anton there, but I agree. Can't believe he was only worried about a video game. He should be happy he's alive. Yes, Patrick Maloney, I agree. But he won the game or not? Crucify, crucify. I would have to say, like, uh, no. But George, as Pan says, top ten and the like was caught up. This completely explains nothing. Nibba has his priority straight A's. A plus plus or A double plus. The winner for being a dumbest of the year award for playing a video game in the middle of tornado goes to this guy, as the siesta says. This guy says legend. There's a game named Fortnite, not Fortnite. More reacher, more research for future guys. Uh huh. Fortnite is life, fam. Um. Yeah, no. It really isn't. It's a video game hog. In fact, it's a YouTube video hog because it hogs all the views and apparently hogs all the subscribers. WXXII is so close to Phillips, if you know what I'm talking about. I am C, or is it L M C? I don't know. That that spelling might be weird. My man was dedicated to finishing that game. L L O. Yeah, I agree with you there, but come on, you gotta like. Immediately turn off your game if you got 
if you actually have an electrical problem about to happen to your house in case of a tornado. Turn off your game immediately. Turn off your gaming console or your gaming PC. Turn off your whole laptop. Turn off everything. Because if you have a tornado, they should not be on. At this time. He was pumping med kits in a bathroom. LMAO. I don't know what that means, but I will, uh, do this. Oh, and I almost forgot to do this. Yes. Yeah. Fortnite forever. Yeah. No, not forever. It won't last long, trust me. Fortnite is just a video game viewing hog. I mean, come on. We can't just all like watching Fortnite and make it popular. The Sims Mobile is also, it's supposed to be, it's also supposed to be the year of the Sims Mobile. And it's also supposed to be the year of Train Driver 2018. And other new games that, other new gaming apps that are on, that are, that are like, popular right now on Google Play if you happen to have any have a Android it's popular on Google Play games this IW is so funny oh it's I think it stands for interview yeah I might like that Luckily, he was inside the ring. What ring? I see no ring. I don't like this comment anyway. Man, he looks 15. Yeah, like I said earlier, he looks 15 or 16. So, yeah. Not all heroes wear capes. Okay, true. The hero we need, but not the hero we deserve. Not all heroes wear capes. This one already said that, but... F <laughs> okay. Give that man a cookie. Yeah, I would give him a cookie. For saving his siblings. Not for playing Fortnite though. That's ridiculous. The Rocker said, If we learn from the Amish, that place would be revealed one in one day. Do you think they're made of money? No. They can't just rebuild in one day. It'll take more than that to rebuild a house. When the storm is shrieking and you tell your family never to get into the restroom, you just build up and healed up. Um, OMG Blask says, why are you calling him a man? He's obviously a teenager, a teenager, very young boy. Sometimes I hate the news because if he was a white kid, he would be called a teen. True. I mean, the old generation just don't. They never call teenagers. They they never call teenagers teenagers. They always call teenager teenagers uh, kids. I mean, what kids? There are no kids. There are teenagers. There are only kids until they're not age twelve anymore. They're teenagers by the age of, by starting the age of thirteen. 
you can't call them kids anymore by the time they turn 13 and beyond. You know that, right? I mean, sometimes, I don't know, I don't know why we live in a, we still live in a world with the, uh, 20th century people who continue to call teenagers kids when clearly they're not kids. I mean, just ch check the age descriptive there. Check it. Stop being in politically politically wrong, okay? So I agree. Don't call him a man. Don't call him a man or a kid. Just call him a, a teenage boy. That's it. Call him a man when he turns 20. That's the actual age of when you turn into an adult. You say 18 like you're an adult, but you're not really an adult yet. So the correct adult age would be 20, not 18, 19. Okay, just to put, just putting it out there. You're still a teenager for, for six years until you turn 20. That's it. Captain Tone 448 says, Okay, so he survived the tornado, but was he the last one standing after his Fortnite match? Who cares if he is or not? The only thing is he didn't die from a tornado. At least he was home playing a game and not out gang banging or selling dope. Okay, true. Yes, he is. he's doing that. Yes. But also, you gotta think about your own life. I mean, again, if I were to check my house to see if the tree has fallen, I would immediately gather my things and get out. I would not play my video game until later. In fact, I practically start all over again. That's how it would work. Anton Williams lost in a storm, LL. Victory Royale dislike. There is no Victory Royale from a tornado. Might do better have gone that dub. <clears throat> yeah, no. S Stop trying to support Fortnite people. It's not worth it. How many kills did you get and did you win? Jeez. When do people shut up about Fortnite? I know these comments are about Fortnite. Just shut up about it. I mean, goes do, do the guy in background reminds anybody to crap man? Who cares he's not part of the story? Really, bro? I was really just thinking about the game. Oh, God. I don't know why I were to dislike or like this comment. Oh, wait. If he can su survive the storm in Fortnite, he can survive in a storm in real life. Who's prepared for this moment? Yeah, watch that video again and then say if he is. Because I don't think by playing this game you can be prepared in actual storm.
I mean, unless you have more clothes, more food, and an undamaged PC system, or Xbox One system, or PS4 system, an undamaged one. And then, yeah, I uh, would be prepared. If that's what you meant, because... Playing Fortnite and being prepared in an actual storm, other than a Fortnite storm, is not really that much preparable. I mean, there are no video, video game stuffs inside Fortnite. They're outside in real life. The ones I just mentioned, mentioned just now. So, yeah. I was also in Green, Greensboro playing Fortnite at the time. And I'm not on the news, hello. Good for you, but... I would stop mentioning Fortnite. If, if it was PUBG, I could understand, but Fortnite though? I would like this comment because it's insulting Fortnite, but I would also, but my mind also tells me to dislike this comment because it has the word Fortnite in it, so I'll just type in agreed. Agreed. And forgive me, or not, but I'm going to insult this game by saying Fart Night Yeah, sorry to those of you out there that had to see that, but it does. It's a game hog. It shouldn't be hogging all the subscribers. And all the glory. This kid, a true gamer. Anton, my boy, got stuck in a storm for real. Our guy. Look what that storm did to his hair. Um. His hair is like that. People like him are still wearing afros these days. Which, I still don't get why afros are still popular. So the storm did not do anything to his hair. It's just, he's been wearing af he's he had an afro for like I don't know since he was like ten years old. I mean, come on. This the storm did nothing to his hair. He was in his house after he heard something. You know, the storm didn't do anything to his hair. <laughs> Please. And your teammate says he's lagging, but uh, squad don't believe it. Was this live? Because most news channels would cut him off if he started mentioning stuff other than the weather conditions. Yes, it was live. If you happen to be living in the Winston-Salem area, if you're from there, you would watch local news live every day to see what happens of what you missed. James
games that garner and quoted this kid by saying, I was sitting at home and I was playing Fortnite. You're in a storm. Run. I agree. You're in the storm. Run. Boring. LOL. Were we? Where were his parents? This is very disturbing. The future is scary. Yeah, well, so were the 20, 20th century people. The 20th century people kind of make planet Earth much worse. Right before global warming started to get way worse today. So, and I'm afraid that global warming will get much worse by the year 2050, so, yeah. Yeah, I would actually think about global warming other than parents. Because people who were born in the 20, 20th century and who happened to, uh, you know, trash planet Earth, planet Earth all, over, all over the place by dumping nuclear acid in the, in the ocean and dumping trash in the water or in the ground and at the beach and stuff like that. You know, the 20th century people, they're the ones to blame for. They caused all this. That's what you should be dis disturbed by about. Not his parents who weren't there. Come on, they had to be saved for that reason. They were probably getting some stuff before the tornado came. So what's wrong with you commenting there? Idiot. Man, my dude don't know what storm to avoid. First of all, people, when you say dude, it's not dud. It's dude. D U D. D U D E, okay? It's dude, not dog. Typical mindless youth. This fool is such an idiot. I hope he enjoyed his game. Such an embarrassment to this city. Yes. He's only difficult because he joined the rest of the Americans who actually played. He joined the rest of the American people who actually like Fortnite more than any other video game, which kind of sucks. I mean, at least 50% like Fortnite, and the other 50% hate Fortnite, and I'm the other 50% that really doesn't like Fortnite in my uh, YouTube home mentions and my YouTube suggested suggested view recommend recommendations when I go on the next video after I watch this video okay that's Anton Williams here. He lives in that house with the power lines down on it, and he was home when this happened. And Anton, you keep saying, I, I can't believe this is happening in Greensboro, right? Right. So tell us what you were doing and, and what you saw. Um, I was sitting at home, and I was playing Fortnite, and all of a sudden I just hear a bunch of noise, and I look out the window, and I start seeing the roof come off the houses in front of me. But then I sit back down because I only got like a couple people left in my gang. I was going to try to finish the game. But then it just started getting worse. And then I started seeing the power lines come down. So I heard my, told my sister and my nephew to come to the bathroom so everything would be okay. 
what, what did you hear? I mean, was it loud noise? What, a lot of people say it sounds like a train, but did you hear anything or s hear anything hitting against your home? You know, I really didn't hear anything, but I really did hear when the roof started coming off the, like, the side of the house, and then when the truck flipped, then I heard that. And, and what's going through your mind is you're, you're, you said you're in the bathroom with your sister and nephew. I'm like, <laughs> I was, honestly, I was just thinking about the game, but I was hoping everybody was okay around me. But when I came outside to check on my neighbors, they said everything was fine. And tell us, you said that you talked to the people who were in the, in the home that was lifted up off the foundation. What did they tell you? They said they just told their family to go inside the restroom, but they felt the house being lifted up off the ground. And, and you said that they felt kind of being thrown? Yeah, they felt the pressure of the wind coming through the windows. And as you're walking outside and you're seeing this damage, what do you think? I was like, I'm thinking like, I didn't even know something like this would happen in Greensboro. You can't picture this happening. Well, we're glad you're okay. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. We really appreciate it. So again, um, we haven't heard any uh, confirmed injuries, but I did speak with a gentleman who was walking by. He said his hip hurt. Uh, he was at a home just a, a, up the road a little ways, and we haven't made it quite up there yet to see the damage there. But let's turn you around here and kind of show you back this way. Trees, look at this. Massive trees just uprooted on top of these cars here. This home has extensive damage, and you can really see almost a line sort of where the tree Trees have come down and they're split in half. Again, power lines thrown all over the place. And now we're getting some first responders up the street trying to get down. There's just a ton of people out here uh, taking pictures. Most people we've talked to have just come out um, after the storm blew through. Uh, looks like there's an ambulance coming down the road here. So again, we're going to try to find some uh, emergency officials who might be able to tell us uh, some extent of injuries here. but. You know, as we're walking down a little bit further, power lines on the road. Everybody's kind of telling folks to watch out as they're walking. So, um, and here's a crew coming down to probably cut down some trees that are in the way. So, lots going on here. Uh, again, we're on Phillips Avenue. We're a little bit down further to Valley View Street. Wanda. This news people are just worried about over nothing. This kid has some med kids and shields for everyone, and all he has to do is chop down a few trees and start building new houses. I just like this comment, which says, but did he get the dub though? Like again, who cares? If he get the dub. This guy probably has experienced this storm in Fortnite, that this was nothing to him. Yeah, I would disagree with all of that. Because the real storm is scary than the actual Fortnite storm, which is kind of stupid to have a storm in that game. No <laughs> offense, but it is stupid.
it's really stupid. I'm dead. He wanted to continue. You're in a storm. Run. Exactly, Dion Woodward. You're in a real storm. You have to run. Don't go outside. You go in the basement. Yeah, like like I said, like I said before. I wouldn't hide in a bathroom. I would hide in the basement. If he had one. Which, in that case, he could have chosen to hide in the basement. My guy doesn't care about his family. He just wanted to continue his game. No, he cared about his family. He said it, when when it got worse, he got his family in the bathroom. The sole element, T as he said. What a sad waste this game is doing to younger generation. Well, I mean, it is because of uh, Ninja and uh, the Drake. Which probably made Fortnite super popular now. All thanks to Twitch, of course. I mean... That's what I think anyway. Robo Queer says don't blame, but I have to blame the game. The game is causing everyone's lives and reality of normalcy. Nobody has any normalcy around here. The Karma skin Mocha boy says still yes no he said he cared about his family too that's why he said he, that's why he said he bring them in the bathroom as J News says J can two four bunch of random numbers Mayor Mo so he could have just went in the bathroom. Sky Street Savage, burglar in house. Guy, hold up, man. Let me just get this win in Fortnite. Hmm. We're glad you okay. Got that W, boy. I'm weak, he said Fortnite, Avery Burnside said. 
Yeah, I don't know how that's funny, so... Legend, yeah. Not for playing Fortnite, though. I wouldn't call him Legend if he were playing Fortnite. His dead mother be like, did he win at least? You can't just assume someone is dead after they probably went to the store in the middle of a storm to go and buy more food to survive even if their house was hit hard or not. Seriously. What's wrong with you people? I just want to know if he took the W. Really? Um, gee, I went. I went to school with him. His hair is. His hair finally grew back. Didn't he always had that afro since he was little? I mean, I'm just guessing here. His Wi-Fi had to be pumping. Yes. But you should always turn off your electronics if you are hit by a storm. Especially lights, so you don't get shocked by an electrical of anything of all kind. Real. The roof was coming up, but he continued. Imagine. I am in the storm. I have to get those loot. I'll just leave that blanked out. He must have been getting rushed in a tilted tower's finish. I don't know what those are, but sometimes you need to actually think about yourself other than the stupid game that is hogging all the popularity right now. It's an unfair justice is is what it is. Do funny as fuck, yes. Ha ha ha. I live there and I posted this kid on my story. I knew he was gonna blow up. This honestly makes me sad. I agree. Dude, this guy is stupid for going to the bathroom for safety. Don't continue playing Fortnite. Epic Games would want you to be safe in your house during a tornado. See, there's a guy with some sense for, for once. P.S. Gamer 1589 there'll be a question remains that he went dislike. Who cares? I bet if he blew away in that tornado, he would care more. This generation to focus on little things is le less important than life. He should be thanking, thanking God he is alive to even play that game again. I don't know if he was born in like the 1970s or 60s or the 30s, I mean 80s, but uh, yeah, I agree, he should care more about not getting hurt in the tornado. But, I would not agree that my generation happens to focus on little things less important than life. Unless you mean parents telling us every other little thing, like, don't break this, don't break that. You know, that kind of little thing. If that's the way you are mentioning it, and that's why you commented here.
Mom, just one more round. Yeah, please, no. He just didn't run a circle in the circle fast enough. During Fortnite? Mm, who cares? My hometown. I didn't get hit, but I could see it. Saved the world in real life. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, I agree. Saved the world in real life, not in a game. I was about to finish the game because I had a couple more people left. Crying laughing emojis. Six crying laughing emojis. I'm glad he was okay and everyone else. Fighting Bid says. There was a couple of people in my game, so I was gonna finish it. We should raise 10,000 V-Bucks because he sacrificed his victory royale for his family. Uh, yeah. Be careful what you wish for. On G. It's Batman. You should be careful what you wish for, because once you say that, it's all over. I mean, I'm not even sure you got a job or not to uh, actually spend that money for tr for his... Fortnite playing abilities, if he even had a Twitch. Fortnite game says, at least he was with it. Oh, and by the way, I should give that to the uh, V Bucks part. I don't think V-Bucks could really count as actual money. I mean... His family is not going to pay actual V-Bucks unless you... Unless you, uh, submitted the, the real money from those V-Bucks to the bank, which I don't think is that possible at all, because... There has not been a discussion about it yet, or even at all, so I know why you suggested that. Really, you should think about it. OMG, this guy is one of my friends. I was playing Fortnite with I was playing Fortnite was him. It was him, you mean. This is what I also think about when people who type online these days, they should really type incorrect in I they should type correct sentences, not incorrect sentences. If if you type incorrect sentences, you know, that's not gonna make much sense. Like, really. Think. Dang, I... Damn, I can't believe he lost everything. Mostly the game, though. Stop talking about the game so much, people. Bruh, why are they talking about me? That's me.
And uh, Williams, this is your squad speaking. Just because your house got destroyed or whatever doesn't mean you can just leave us. Yo, what's his gamer tag? Yeah, I want to find him too, but uh, I would wait a little while. This man is a legend. Yeah, for saving his family. I got that covered already. Why don't you guys stop commenting this? It's just a fluke to him. Fortnite over death, baby. Yeah, you're right. Fortnite is a fluke. Not the storm. Not the real storm. Fortnite is a fluke. Fortnite is a fucking fluke. Well, I'll see that lady in the back at eight seconds. This dude's a legend. Got that copper to ready. Why you guys comment so much repeats? At Antoine, I was playing PUBG. I feel you, man. Oh, God. When Fortnite is more important than in life. Um, when, when other games are more important in your life than Fortnite. Need to get his power or his internet while a tornado was near. How was his power still on light or the tornado was near? When your homeschool brother wants to finish shoot up the school, but you need to finish that Fortnite match. This nigga. Be safe and play Fortnite. Dislike. Like. This storm is nothing for me like Fortnite. LOL. Dislike. When Fortnite is like. Dislike. Fortnite is not life. It's a tragic storm heaven because they're not in the safe zone. Yeah, really? I agree. The real storm happened because they're not in the safe zone. The Fortnite zone, I really could care less about. My guy could have ran out of his house and into the storm, I just in time. I agree. I would have done the exact same thing when I'm... When I like something, when I'm interested in something, I will not stop going after it all after it at all costs yes maybe that's true but 
if there were to be a fire in your house, you have to run. So there's nothing you can do to actually stay in your house and say, I will study nothing after it at all costs. There's nothing you can say about that. LML. LMFAO. Storm was closing in. Good thing he had his bandages. I heard a bunch of noise. We expect a real Fortnite player. Yeah, I'll expect him for. For saving the siblings, not for playing Fortnite. Fortnite is a piece of shit. Not a big deal. He had mats, so he just built a new roof. If you're mentioning Fortnite, come on now. If you're not mentioning Fortnite, he's not a contractor, so... That's my boy. Holy moly, this kid is savage. All he needs is a jump pad to get out of the storm. Why is the new speedporter worried? I know he has some shields and bandages for his family. Who cares if he got that when CQG you just come to a good thing there. Don't ruin that. Fortnite Savage. was at my grandma's house a day before the tornado and the tornado stopped ended on her road a few blocks away from her house. Okay. I was trying to finish the game. Who cares about the game? I think Fortnite is so not important. Stop trying to make Fortnite way popular, people. Give other games a chance for once, please. Fortnite is my life. Well, it shouldn't be. And he shouldn't have to continue the game. He shouldn't have to. Number one, Victory Royale. Who wouldn't be surprised if he said I forgot I had a jump pad? Apparently I don't care. He shouldn't be happy he still has his siblings and himself intact. Obviously not. Stop trying to mention Fortnite. Yes, he got bigger balls saving his siblings. That's the only thing that matters, not Fortnite. Yes, I hope he brought a real med kit, not a fake one. He's probably thinking, damn, I could have won a game. Stop mentioning Fortnite. But you better get in that storm eye. Please be more specific. Pacific. 
I need a revive after this. Oh, please. I think we've kept playing. Oh, please. That's my kind of dedication. You're trying to swat up. We need a four. Fortnite, come on. I mean, no, I mean, I kind of like, I kind of like the guy who got the uh, famous because of his appearance, not the stupid game that he's playing. So, if he were to have an account like that, I would try to find, I would, uh, I would, uh, Follow them on Instagram, like them on Facebook, and follow them on Twitter. That's the only way I would find the, find the guy because of his appearance. Not no game he plays, which is, again, a video game YouTubing viral hog. It hogs up all the viral views. I don't know how many people say that that's his friend. But, uh, it might be actually weird if he had a YouTube channel right now and he decided to clear that up about this. This is a definition of a true Fortnite fan. Yeah, for saving siblings, not for playing the game. I'm sorry there, but I'm going to have to disconnect because he has to work Fortnite again. Maybe he was in the storm. Dude got caught in the storm, who's he Fox says. I'm dead. He was worried about the game and not his family and himself. That has to be fake. I mean, come on. Grizzly Gaming says. Yes, yes, yes. He is. He's a god. Yes, he is. But not for playing Fortnite. Come on. Now I'm trying to mention words that have to do the Fortnite, please. Yes, I would did the same too, just not Fortnite. Fortnite, stupid. Trying to run duels. I live across in Phillips Avenue. Okay. This man is an OG. He is a savage. You should be ashamed playing Fortnite through Storm. I agree, Caleb Curry. He barely felt the storm coming. Yeah. 
Different reward. First I even Civlix not playing Fortnite. Glad him and his SWAT made it out of the storm. They were pretty deep. Must have a ton of engines or a launch pad. Yeah, real engines, but not a launch pad in real life. There's some launch pad that he might have. And if you're just mentioning Fortnite, please. Did he have a scar? No. I don't think we saw one. I would just do the same thing. I just need to be friends with this guy. I guess everyone wants to be friends with this guy now. I mean, don't expect me to believe if he already has a social media following by now. Yeah, don't expect me. Don't expect me to believe if he already has a social media following by by now. I mean. You know, all, all in all, in the end, he is okay, his siblings are okay, and his parents are probably far, far away from the storm because they are trying to prepare more food before the storm came, and it probably did, so. Well, everyone wants to follow this kid. Well, maybe if I find him myself on Instagram, maybe I might follow him. Maybe. Or nine eight eight life. No, he shouldn't, Dylan. No one cares if you were in the car. You were famous only for a few seconds. He was famous for two minutes. I have his PSN and I played with him. Oh really? Then what is his account then? If you're gonna gloat about his PlayStation account.
Nan is wrong. You should get medkits. Real ones, not Fortnite ones. Stop trying to get fame from Fortnite. Come on. I don't know why I keep clicking on something I didn't even click. This doodle legend, yes. OML, so dead. This dude is legend, savage. Look who plays Fortnite during a tornado. I'm only disliking this coming because of the word Fortnite again. And dead he wanted that dub. Who cares about the dub? Dubs don't matter. Again, I'm only disliking these comments because of Fortnite. I'm only this I am only liking this comment because it agrees. Fortnite will be ending up killing people in real life. Who got his social media? I'm skipping a few of comments because I wanna be done with this. True legend. Did you get a dub though? Expect. I would finish my game the fuck no Did you win dude? Black you were okay. Greensboro was my home three years ago and me and my family had been through a direct hit in tornado. It's pretty scary, but you were super funny and calm. Good job getting your family to safety. I don't care if he wins, but yes, I am glad he chose his family over the game. I mean, for once in your life, you cannot just put Fortnite as popularity for a year. There are, there are other video games that you can put popularity for a year. If you saw this kid at McDonald's, I wouldn't be surprised if you took a picture of him and got his account number. I mean, his account name on Instagram. I was playing Fortnite too. Okay, this, that's actually a disclaimer. I didn't see that coming. Like we did the same, JK. Stop using Fortnite reference, please. We didn't even buy a lunch pad in real life.
Yeah, again, or no, he's not. No. No, let him not finish. Crazy as. You can't rebuild the house in real life in five seconds. Stop trying to mention, like, mention that he was playing Fortnite. Yeah, again, I wouldn't be surprised if he got his fame. Okay. Order does not equal life. It's not good. Yeah, we do need more teammates like him. Not for Fortnite, though. Fortnite is not good. And now we're resulting a disc like because I just saw this. Yes, finally, a comment I could agree to. Agree. Give. Other. 
video game YouTube videos a chance Damn, Connor didn't even finish the game. Who cares about the game? Idiot. Don't you have family at home? God. I agree. I'm liking this comment because it's kind of making a few jokes, or just that one joke. She tried to say Fortnite, instead she wrote Fortnite. Just in reference to Fortnite, I think. I'm not sure because she's trying to hide that trending word. Which I can already tell what she's writing about. But should write correctly though.
finally at the end of this. I hope someone dies from playing Fortnite. Agreed. No more. Fortnite. I'm calling it Fortnite because the game is kind of an embarrassment to the YouTube gaming community. I mean, this game is too wildly popular. It's not giving other games a chance to be popular. That's how stupid the world is today. The windows.
guys. That's it for today's video. I want to know what your thoughts on An Anton Williams. What are your thoughts on Anton Williams? So please do comment comment below. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay? And make sure you like this video too because it has Anton Williams in it. I figured I might talk about this kid who's playing Fortnite and uh, just, be just because. Just because you play a video game, that really doesn't mean you have to care more about a video game than your family. I mean, sometimes I just think people who play Fortnite, their minds get twisted, you know? So, so anyway, please do like this video and comment, and also subscribe if you want more. Alright, peace out then.